actually in Singapore, most of our outlets are franchise owned. So for us, it's not a by the way kind of thing, but it's our main growth strategy. So we see our franchisees as also not just another number, um, but as uh, important partners and brand ambassadors that go with us. And that's why also we spend a lot of uh, effort and resources in building the brand, the systems and uh, processes, and more importantly as well, uh, the team, so that we can, the franchisees have the best chance of uh, succeeding. I think one of the facts that we are most proud of is that our franchisees have gone on to open up their second and third outlet. Um, those that join us lately um, have, are also looking for their second outlet. So I think this speaks uh, volumes uh, for the business model and also the financial viability of the brand. After all, uh, the franchising journey and uh, opening up F&B in Singapore is not easy, but we'll be there for the franchisees. From a franchise management perspective, Joe and Doe focuses on the key aspects of franchise management that really matter. A lot of their franchisees have grown from one unit to manage two to three outlets each. In Singapore, that's pretty rare. What they have done is they've focused on training their management team. They have used the right franchise management tools so that the franchisees understand what it means to be a Joe and Doe franchisee. They are onboarded systematically. They are regularly audited, as well as have the opportunity to embark on regular trainings with the franchisor. The franchisor also takes a really active interest in how the franchisees are performing not only from a revenue perspective, but also from a cost of goods perspective. And I think that franchisees should take comfort in the fact that there is a franchisor who really depends on their success to be successful themselves. Uh, I think it weighs back started when my youngest brother aspiration to own a cat and uh, that's where we will start pondering whether you want to start on fresh or you know from a startup basis or through franchise and we know franchisee or franchises are basically uh, has a good opportunity for us to explore the reason being is that they as much of a higher rate of success as compared to startup business use our three important criteria to select the brand that we want to look for. Number one, I think about their proven track records. Uh, number two, we talk about the well-established brand. And last but not least, scalability. The reason being about scalability is that we would like to branch out to more outlets in the future. I think why we selected Joe and Do based on these three criteria. In addition to that, uh, Joe and Do allows us to uh, talk to their franchisee, they are open about it, uh, it's transparent. Uh, we do talk to their current franchisee about their experiences. I think the experience so far is fantastic. Uh, not only we are a business owner, we also put our sleeves you know, to perform the roles as a service crew. Um, Reason being is that being a service crew, we also have to make ourselves more professional, uh, trying to upkeep our business by knowing our customer likes and dislikes. And we also want to make sure you know we make a freshly brewed coffee every day to our customer. And